Alright, so let's start with the uh, omoplata setup from, from collar and sleeve. We're gonna control collar and sleeve. I'm playing guard and stand up. Let's say he just opened my guard here, okay? And I have the collar grip and I have the sleeve. So you can grab on the collar as deep as you can, but if you stand up, stand up like he's probably gonna feel your grip a little bit. So make sure your grip is a little bit lower, okay? So you don't need to go like really deep, okay? So grab right here, okay? So now with the other leg right here, with my left leg, I'm gonna pull so his shoulder. Yeah, I'm gonna play guard like this. I like to pull and have my thigh on top of my forearm, so that way I can uh, bring my knee to my chest, and I use that to make sure that I have more uh, leverage to pull his collar towards my chest, okay? So if I keep my legs open like this, probably gonna get tired, especially if he's trying to stand up, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get tired here. So I like to, Bring my form right here, okay? So that way I have better grip, it's harder for me to stand up. Try to stand up. Now, with this leg right here that's on the hip, okay? I can go with the lasso or I can stay with my leg here. I can get the lahip as well, okay? So this, those are the, uh, the grips that you can make with your legs. Okay? One, two, and three, okay? Um, the difference between one and other, with the De La Hiva, he can posture up, especially if he's like uh, stronger than me, he can start like posture up and start losing my grip or start losing control. The foot on the hip will block him from posture up because I'm gonna push his butt out, okay? And at the same time, I'm bringing his uh, collar towards me so I keep his body 90 degrees, okay? So I'm a little bit stronger here. And with the lasso, I can keep him more, like closer to me, okay? So for now, we're gonna work like this, right here, my foot on his hip. So every time I'm working like this, I need to pay attention on this foot right here, okay? Because I don't want his arm being inside my legs, like this, okay? If he grabs my shin, or grab my toes, right, my foot, it's gonna be easier for him to step over my leg and start passing this way, especially if I don't have the last, okay? So I need to make sure I keep my foot on his uh, shoulder and bicep, okay? I can't even make a grip like this. So he's gonna try to swing the arm inside. I make sure I keep my heel against his chest, okay, against his rib. So I'm here. Now, the elbow. He knows if you keep the elbow like this, it's easy for me to get the omoplata here, right? So he's gonna close the elbow. He's gonna keep the elbow inside, like this. It's awesome. Okay, turn so you see there's a triangle here between his elbow, his elbow, his tricep here, his armpit, there's a triangle here in his leg, see that? So I'm gonna put my knee inside that triangle. Okay, the reason that I do that is to open up his uh, elbow. So I escape my hip, to the same side of the arm that I'm controlling the sleeve, and I put my knee like this, inside, you see, try to close their elbow right now, so he can't, so now it's easier for me to get them to okay? So put my hand, on, uh, put his hand on my pocket here and make sure I get the figure four like this, okay? So there's different uh, ways, different reactions uh, that my opponent will do right here, okay? He can bring the knees on the floor like this and simply accept the sweep, uh, accept the omoplata, so right here. Or he can try to stand up like this, exactly. He's gonna try to stack me, right? Or he's gonna try to lift the arm out. That's why it's very important to me. Very important to keep this hand on his collar, okay? So I keep the hand on the collar the whole time. If I let go to try to do something, he's gonna take the arm out, and he's, he can posture up, okay? So when I have the grip here, even like my hands between my legs, don't open yet, okay? So I'm gonna show you two, uh, two things here, okay? So the first one is when I get the omoplata and he dropped the knees on the floor. The second one is when he tries to to remain like standing, okay? So close your elbow. So I'm here controlling, playing guard, I skip my hip, I go with my kneecap right under his arm, uh, his armpit and right uh, under his tricep here, okay? Try to close your elbow. Now it's hard for me to close the elbow. I pull his arm, his hand towards my chest and I get the omoplata like this, okay? So let's say when I get here, he dropped the knee on the floor, I'm gonna start like putting my foot, okay? On the floor here. So I break his posture, okay? And I can extend my legs, okay? So I put my bottom foot, my right foot in this case, 
closer to my ankle and then I scratch my legs and I sit up like this. Right? So everybody, when they set up the mufata here, they want to skate the hips this way, okay? So when you skate the hips this way, it's easier for our opponent to just hop over you. Hop over me, like this, sometimes he's gonna hop over, okay? Or even if I get here, you're gonna start attacking the block and it's gonna roll, right? And then sometimes I get the sweep and then I'll be on this position. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna get the omoplata, step one, step two, and I grab him. Now, instead of escaping my hips outside, I'm gonna escape my hips inside. Okay, I'm gonna keep my, my hip like this, okay? So I'm gonna face my chest outside, I'm gonna put my rib against his wrist, okay? And then I, I shift my hip like this. And with this hand right here, I'm gonna control right under his armpits, okay? Right on his lap. Here, okay? And look, now I glue his hip on top of my hip. So I pull him to me like this. You see that he's sideways right now? So now he's on top of my hip. So I'm gonna put my elbow on the floor. Once I bring him over me, now I'm gonna use my butt, my hip, to sweep him, bringing my knees uh, to the floor. Like this. And then I come on top. Again, from here, he's closing the elbow. I go one, two, sit up, bring it to you. Look. You see, I'm like a foam roll sideways. So I bring my hip underneath of him, bring it to me, and then I turn now to sweep. Okay? So why I'm doing this? Because I can still set up the Moplata after doing that. Let's say, if I'm fighting a tournament, then I get here, okay? And I try to shift like this. I can get my two points, right? Or I can finish it, but it's harder to finish your opponent when you face outside like this. Okay, he's gonna roll, roll. And then you end up like here, okay? So I got two points, right? And I lost the whole flop. So right here, right now, I go. One, two, look. Three, you see how I turn? Look my hand. It was like this, now I bring my elbow. Then look, he's on top of me right now. You see that I wanna to touch my rib on the floor here, look. Like this. Once I feel like my rib touch the floor, now I shift my hip right here. And I'll get on top of him. Right now I'm letting go the grip on the back, okay? And still he can put, a, put the guard right here and start Facing to me, okay? From here. So I'm gonna do all that without letting go of the back. So I go one, two, control here and keep this grip. So I'm gonna bring it to me. My rib goes on the floor. He's on top of me right now. Try to go back. He can't go back. So now I'm just gonna turn. Sweep like this and I stay here. Okay, try to put guard. So I got my two points right there. This is two points already. Once you see the referee raising his hand, if you like to compete, you got a two. Now I just face outside, roll, and underhook his arm here. Okay? So I underhook his shoulder actually. If I go here, he can leave the arm out. So I underhook his shoulder like this. And now I bring his shoulder to my chest. Now I can undo the figure four, posting my outside leg on the floor, and start escaping the hip. You see that I escape the hip using my head. I use the head and the foot on the floor to take my hip off the mat so I can escape my hip like this, okay? But at the same time, I'm grabbing the shoulder here, and then I keep skate. Thank you, that time. Okay, it's a very powerful way to finish uh, a normal blocks, okay? Here is way better for you to stay than here, okay? Because here he always roll. He rolls. Okay, and then you need to immediately roll again to get it, right? But when you do the traditional moplata, they all know you can do the second roll. So when you do like this, and then you roll, you can surprise your opponent, okay? So, so I'm playing guard. Look, 
This is very, very important. Put it in the inside, okay? And then get the flat, control, turn, switch, roll, catch your guard. Now, I get the harness here on his, around his shoulder, open the figure four, keep my heel towards my butt, and then skip the hip into uh, his leg. Okay. Let's say the person that you attack on the plata is very, very flexible. Imagine like his arm is inside, he's escaping, I'm escaping, he's not tapping. You can go like a choke here, stretch your legs. So you can go here. Okay, get the cross choke. Okay, control your own collar here. And now you can start choking your opponent like this. Okay? If usually girls, they're very, very flexible on the shoulders and they don't tap on the plata, so you can use that with the crucifix on the plata, okay? So the way you drill, one, two, control, look. One, two, three, roll, get the arm, see, keep there. Now it's third, okay? Here, on the plata. Control, face outside, boom, roll, three seconds, roll, get my shoulder, okay, and then just get the tap, just like that. Go back and forth, do as many times as you can, make sure you stay really tight. Any question? All right, one, two, three. On the next technique is a sim entry, okay, so I'm playing the collar sleeve guard, make sure I have my inner tie, like, very close to my, to my uh, form, I'm controlling him here. I can get the rahib like this. Like I say, I can get the lasso here to rest. Okay, this is a very good position to rest when he's trying to press your guard, okay? And anytime I want to attack, I gotta put my knee inside. So my knee needs to go inside this hole right here. Otherwise, he's gonna be always with the elbow closed, elbow closed like this, so it's hard for me to get the elbow block. So, stuff your knee side like this. And then you go for the omoplak. Now let's say if he's not gonna feel the omoplak, but he, he doesn't want to drop the knees on the floor. He wants to stand up, right? He wants to posture up. Sometimes he's gonna drop this knee here on the floor, right? And keep the other leg up, okay? But most of the time they're gonna keep like standing, stand up. Because they know, your opponent will know if you drop the knee on the floor, like it's gonna be easier for you to go to the omoplak. Now there's two ways for you to do this, okay? Depends on, on your flexibility. So when you're standing up, try to stand up, you try to stand up like this. Sometimes gonna grab inside my hip like this to try to stack me. Right? Sometimes gonna just try to, to stand up, right? So as soon as you feel like he didn't drop, I'm gonna undo the figure four. I'm gonna put this hook here inside his leg and I keep facing this way with my foot in the front of his face still. So my foot cannot be here. Otherwise it's gonna go to the half guard, okay? That half. So make sure you keep your foot in the front of his face. So you're gonna turn. you're gonna hook right behind his knee, okay? And you can try to get the, the figure four again by sliding your leg down like this, or you're gonna put both feet like this under his uh, leg, okay? Sorry, but not. <laughs> now it's super hard for him to roll because I'm trapping his leg. It's hard for him to roll. So what I do now to finish, okay? I need to put both sides of my hip on the floor and both hands on the floor, so like this. I'm gonna face this way and I start skipping the hip. Then I'm gonna finish my opening. Some people will tap right away. Again. So in here, so I go one, two, he's trying to stand up, press it up, I go here, look. I gotta put my head on the floor, bring my leg down, and I get my hook in. Now I turn this way. See the hook that I set up right there? Help me to turn, so now I put both feet inside. Right here, look, I can do like a nice wrist lock, because he can't roll, he can move, if I, if I want, just to have fun. But a lot of people, they're very flexible, they don't, they don't tap here. So you're, you're just gonna grab here, and sit up like this. Now both hands on the floor, then you're gonna start face to face. Imagine my foot is inside still. I'm gonna face me like this. Imagine, I still have the position. Right there, I'm gonna do this. I'll start doing this. 
And then what's gonna happen, he's gonna, he's gonna fall like this. Okay, and then no way he can roll. Okay, and the fight is gonna be over. Okay, it's a very powerful block. You can chase or you can get the hook in on the farther leg, like letting go the, the figure four or with the figure four if you want. So if you can't get the hook with the figure four still here like this, great, okay? Even better, all right? Now look, I just need to face him like this. See, both of my, both sides of my hips on the floor. I'm not like sided anymore. Okay, I'm here. Square it up, sit up. And I, I say like, it's like a, a, a wheelchair, right? When you sit in the wheelchair and then you move like this, and the same way, you move like this, okay? So keeping the hook inside the whole time. Sometimes in the fight you can, you can uh, put this hook here too, like under this arm. If you can find the leg, you can do this, okay? But getting the leg is better, okay? Because here you can move his arm, right? If you move the arm, then I need to change. Either here or facing the other way to make him roll and then I do like what we did in the first movie. Okay. So, all right, so I'm here, knee inside, open, get the omoplata, figure four, he's trying to stand up. If I feel like it's hard for me to get the hook with the figure four, right? Especially when he starts stacking me, starts stacking me. Like he grabbed my, my hip like this. I open and I extend my arm so I can go away from him. Because I need my lower back on the floor. Just grab my pants, don't grab my underwear. Yeah, right there. Okay. So try to stack, but he's trying to stack like that, okay? So I cannot be here. I need to extend my arm and go away from him like this. And then I can may get the hook, or if I feel I have a hard time to get there, I undo the, the figure four and do this. So I just need to face this way. And if I can put both feet like this, that would be amazing, okay? Super hard for you to defend. So now I can let go of everything and then I'm here, okay? One good thing of this position, okay, let's say I got right here, he dropped the knees on the floor, and at the moment that I start doing this, he started trying to stand up. He kind of like regret of putting the knee on the floor. So which leg is gonna stand up first? The outside leg. So I'm gonna undo my figure four, and then I'm gonna chase that leg. I'm gonna get the hook on that leg, okay? Doing that, now, if you try to roll to the phenomoplata, you know, I can keep that hook there, so I can get a nice monoplata. And then finish it, okay? So this hook here, it's important because that will help me to not let my opponent roll. So in order to have a good leverage on the shoulder, I need to turn his arm this way and stop him from standing up. So this will block him from stop him to stand up. If I don't have that and I have only this, he's gonna sit up and I'm gonna be here. All right? So that's why I have this hook here. Try to sit up, so now it's hard for me so I can maintain him down and then finish it, okay? So let's work when our opponent's like, he doesn't drop knees on the floor, that happens a lot. When you get the omoplata, he tried to posture up. So you're gonna either undo the figure four and get the hook. You're gonna feel like when you undo the figure four and go with both legs inside, it's way stronger, especially for people who don't have a flexible shoulder. Or, um, you can, uh, uh, you can keep the figure four, sorry, and then just go into your whole hand, okay? So I'm here, he's gonna control me here. We go to Omoplata and I try to do this. Immediately he's gonna get that hook, boom, right there, done. Now if the dog is here and I got desperate, I'm like, you know what, like I'm gonna roll. I roll, he just follow me. And then I stop here. It's very, very hard, okay? Super hard for me to say Worst case scenario, get the whole Let's say I take this like out and I start sitting up, then you can go to the first home of thing. So it's all combined, okay? But that hook on the farther leg will help you 
tremendously, okay? And it's gonna stop the opponent from going low. Be careful with the shoulder, okay? Uh, that hurts. If you have like stiff shoulder, uh, stiffened shoulder, be careful. You guys have any question? Question? No? All right, let's go. One, two, three.